Hello folks and welcome to the video. Uh, my name's Andrew, I'm a part-time eBay and Depop reseller and a mental health advocate. And today I'm here in the town of Newport, not the one in South Wales, but the one in Shropshire. Um, I'm on my way back from the eBay Open, I had a great time there. Shout out to Brum reseller and to Undercover Arbitrage, both of whom I met, both top blokes, really good time with both of them. Um, yeah, so on my way now back home to Wrexham. Thought I'd stop in this uh, this town of Newport. I used to stop here a lot when I uh, worked in Birmingham before the pandemic, and I always had some good finds here. Not been here since the first lockdown, since before the first lockdown, though. So don't know if it's gone the way of a lot of other towns and cities, charity shops, where the prices have gone way high. But hoping it hasn't, hoping it's still reasonably priced. It's quite an affluent area, so I tend to get some really good stuff as a result. Even gonna let myself look at the clothing today, even though I tend to stay away from it. I'm gonna do that because there does tend to be some quite good clothing finds here, or has been in the past. So yeah, I'm gonna take you with me. Um, try and film a little bit of footage in the shops uh, if I can, and uh, I'll show you some of the pickups. But first, I'm absolutely starving. I've not had anything to eat since I had some free food at the eBay Open yesterday, and it's half 12. So I'm going to get some lunch. I'll uh, probably see you in a bit. Yeah. I used to buy these for quid each. I sell them on eBay for twelve ninety five. Um, every Christmas without fail, but not interested in shipping breakables anymore, um, especially with such a low margin. But it might be something you want to consider. Um, I don't know if they're going to be the same price this year, but uh, certainly it was an easy 12 95 sale. Um, just used to clear the shelves and sell through them all over Q4, so something to think about. You can also bundle them together and get about 22 quid. First purchases made, two Stephen King books, uh, just like 25p, um, they were free but I uh, gave a bit of a donation to charity, um, unfortunately I had 25p cash on me otherwise I would have you know, given a pound or two but uh, yeah, these um, not first editions unfortunately, well that is but it's a third printing. Uh, this is a book club, sorry that's, that's uh, a book club one, this is a first edition third printing so not that much value in it individually but bundled with a couple of other Stephen King hard books, that should make um, some nice money from it, so happy with that. Lovely jubbly. One of the most fake Ralph Lauren tops I've ever seen, and it's twenty five pound. Total utter fake. Mental. What are we looking at? Two chest one. Pattern on that, 299, like a 20 foot. And then, gee, which is 399. They used to go for like 25, but about 29. So, yeah, prices were a little mental in there. Um, I can't believe they wanted 25 quid for that fake Ralph Ren polo shirt. Absolutely madness. Um, got a couple of things. But it's a lot more expensive than it used to be in there, a lot more. Uh, there's a few more charity shops here, three or four for me to check out, so see if I can get anything. It would be nice to have more than just a couple of jumpers and a couple of bucks to walk away with. Um, 
But if it's slim pickings, I'll head to Whitchurch next because that's that's on the way home. So yeah, I think I'm just about coming up on the Seven Hospice store now. I think it's Seven Hospice store, no clue. Um, so I'll see what they got in there. Well, Seven Hospice was a strange one. I couldn't film in there because they were just watching me non-stop. Um, but I have picked up some Nike, some Nike ACG shorts and a football buck. Both were three pounds each. Now the football buck, there's none sold, but there are two listed at the minute. One on auction with no bids for 60 pounds. And one I'm gonna buy it now for a hundred pound. So I'm taking a gamble on it. What three quid? It's not that much to risk. Um, do some research and tell a peek when I get home. But uh, yeah, gonna pop into Sue Rider now. I have this problem where I record stuff, but I keep forgetting to press the record button. So God knows what I captured in that last charity shop. It's a pretty big place, um, but the prices weren't great. I did grab a book for two quid that's gone for £18 plus shipping on bids before. There's a few listed at the minute. The cheapest one's fifteen seventy-five. Well, the book special, no pictures, so. I'll probably list mine for sixteen ninety five free shipping, which is okay. Um, but yeah, off to the final charity shop now. It's um, it's definitely not what it was here for sourcing. Um, prices are just um, much higher than they used to be. But um, yeah, the last one's at Oxfam, so pretty sure I'm not going to be able to pick anything. Mind you, I've picked up stuff in there before, so I shouldn't dismiss it out of hand but yeah gonna go there and then I'm gonna head to Whitchurch afterwards um, I think we've got time to hopefully do about an hour's source in there um, not sure if I'll have the time to film anything there because it does take a bit of, a bit of time and effort to do the filming but um, yeah uh, pop into Oxfam see what they got and then head back to the car Hi folks, back at home now, I'm just going to shut the door, um, managed to pick up a couple of items with church, nothing too exciting, but I ran out of battery on my phone to film it and run the sat now to get me home, so um, I didn't uh, didn't get any footage there, but I thought I'd show you what I picked up, um, quite, not that many items really, but some potential sleepers in there. A couple of books that um, might be good, might not be, um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with what I got, um, considering I didn't spend a lot of time uh, looking or sourcing. Um, so yeah, um, I'll turn the camera around and I will show you what I picked up. Right, okay, here's the pile. Those are two Stephen King books I got for 25p. They'll go in a Stephen King hardback bundle. They'll sell for like two or three pound each as part of the bundle including uh with, with shipping on top sorry so they'll do all right as long as i can get a few more um i used to pay about 50p for a book and i can get you know five or six bundle them up and then sell them for a little bit of profit so yeah just uh tend to go quickly as well um the jumpers a bit of a disappointment having researched them when i got home um got this bhs one first of all Proper vintage, 50% wool, 50% acrylic, really nice pattern on it, but 
don't seem to be much demand for vintage BHS jumpers on eBay um, unless they're sort of the fair isle pattern which this obviously isn't um, I'm going to try it though on Depop at eBay for 19.95 and see what uh, gets the sale that cost me 2 99 but I think I might be sitting on that one for a while that being said we are getting to colder weather now so perhaps things will pick up on that um, Right, and then the Gabichi. Gabichi used to be like a, what hole was it? Oh, just a bit of dirt. Uh, Gabichi used to be like a really good sleeper brand. Um, you'd see it at the charity shops for a couple of quid and it would sell for like 25 to 40 pounds. But market's heavily saturated with Gabichi now, I was looking today. Um, so not as much demand for it. Well, certainly a lot more supply for it than there used to be and probably similar levels of demand. But without much supply, prices have gone down. So I probably overpaid for this at 3 99 because I think I'll struggle to get 19.95 for it. Um it's a size medium, it's got a nice sort of vintage pattern on it, but yeah, again as I say, I think I'll struggle to get 19.95 free shipping on that. But I'll be sat on it for a while. But again, we'll try that on Depop too. Uh, these are a nice find. Um some uh, Nike HCG shorts. Like the ACG branding on and everything. Uh, they're three pound. They're a size XL, which are a big boy size. Um, yeah, same pair of shorts are sold on eBay for thirty four ninety five. Um, so I'm going to put those on for thirty four ninety five free shipping. We are a bit out of season, so I'm going to have to sit on those for a while. But happy to find those. Always worth looking at the uh, Nike ACG stuff. It's cheap enough. Um, I'll just show me pick up this the velocity of stoke uh, book two pounds for this um should get 15.95 free shipping for that so nice easy profit um same time as getting the acg shorts i picked up this which i was quite excited about when i saw the listed values for copies of it um it's 1963 european cup uh guide includes lots of stuff details about all the clubs playing in it, playing in it, including the British ones. Uh, the two listed at the minute: one for ninety nine ninety five free shipping, one for fifty nine ninety five. Uh, I've done a bit of research into it though. Uh, the one fifty nine ninety five is on bids as well, but I've done a bit of research on it. Uh, I think they've massively overpriced it. Basically, there's one that's gone for about a tenner um, on bids. Um, I paid three pound for this, so you know. I'd, I'd like a slight more than a tenner for it. Um, but yeah, I think that price is looking for a bit insane. Um, what I am going to do though, I am still going to shoot high with this, given that the competition is so highly paced, placed, uh, priced. So I'm going to put this on for 49.95, free shipping. See how it does. I can, I'll have offers on it and I can always drop it in price uh, until it finds its mark. Um, but yeah, definitely not think it's worth as much as uh, they've got it on for. Um, Oxfam actually gave you three items, which is surprising. This is a new patches for old, it's a rare paperback book. Now, again, this was reduced as 49p. Um, this is another one where the listings for this at the minute are really quite high. It's on Amazon for something crazy like 125 quid, it's on eBay World of Books for 94 pounds. Um, but you look on Terapeak and you know it's it's gone for about a fiver. Uh it's okay from 49p, go live letter, uh, 165 post or money in it at fiver, but it does seem to be quite rare an increase in value, um, or certainly in, in, in what people are listing it for. Uh the cheapest copy I could find online is a copy in Canada from a a bucks, which is about 30 quid plus shipping over here. So with that rarity in mind and the crazy prices people are asking for it, again, I'm going to list this one quite high to start with and then gradually bring it down. So I'm going to go, you can get it from Canada, bought into the country for about 40 quid. So I'm going to list this one for 39.95 free shipping uh, to compete with that listed on A-Books. Um, but I will obviously bring it down in price. If it doesn't sell, I will have offers on. Um, so yeah, it might be a bit of a crazy price. Like the other one, it might not be. We shall see. 
Uh, and then this, again an Oxfam, this was 99p. Um, there's only one of these listed, an actual physical copy of this listed, uh, which is a brand new one, listed for £70 in Italy. Uh, there's nothing sold or listed in the past year apart from that. It is on Google Books um, as, I think, an audio copy um, for 20 for 30 quid. Um, so it's a pretty rare book. Difficult to price, but I think I'm going to compete this, compete with the Google Books audio copy. I'm going to list this used as 29.95. See how we get on. Again, that might be too high. It might be too low. It might be but people willing to pay more than that, but... Difficult to research this one, so I'm going to try it at 30 quid to see how we get on. I mean, it cost me 99p. And the final item is this a Yamaha keyboard. Um, PSS9. I picked this up because it's boxed and it's got original polystyrene inserts in the box. Um, I did have to open it up to have a look at it. It was solid tape shut, but I wasn't going to buy it without checking it out first. So I opened it in the store. And it's good, good clean condition, so um, we'll test it out later to make sure it works. But yeah, it's, it's got it's dead easy to ship because it's got the polystyrene packaging etc. in it. So it's you know, all it needs to do is a bit of bubble wrap to protect this out of box so it doesn't get bashed too much, and put it in a bigger box and ship it. So dead easy to to ship that. Um, and it was originally nineteen ninety nine. Now these go on eBay box, the top end is 19.95, which is what this will get listed for. So really ambitious price today there by Oxfam. I paid 4 99 for it. After they reduced it twice. Um, and then I found a small independent charity shop that wasn't on Google. I picked up two items there. Picked up this, a fire upon the deep, uh put it in a sci-fi book. Uh it's just 20p. Um I somebody's got just over eight ninety five for this, including shipping. Um, this one got a little bit of a crinkling, bit of curve to it. I don't know what a technical term for that is. Um, so I got this for eight ninety five free shipping. I, I couldn't leave behind for twenty p. You know, I, I'm, I'm a sci fi fan, so I'll probably read it as well and get the enjoyment from it. Um, so yeah, it's gonna go for eight ninety five. Um, and some clover leaf mats, uh, cork based ones. Uh, if these are boxed, I will pick them up. This box is knackered, basically. But it's £2.50. I like the box because it tells you what they are. So these are the uh, coaching scenes. Now, they do do some uh, coasters to go with these. Unfortunately, I haven't got the coasters. But these placemats, these cloverleaf ones, tend to do quite well for me on their uh, GSP. People overseas buy them, particularly with their sort of hunting scenes well this is coaching but you know it's a pretty similar sort of thing and um, i think i'll be able to get 1995 free shipping for those and then in Whitchurch, i did actually manage to pick up some stuff um let's have a look got this book heaven chronicles 50 pence it's pretty rare um, 50p and I reckon I could get 8.95 free ship for it so you know 50p I might as well I picked this up surely because which is just really poor for me to find stuff in and this was only three quid brand new series one to three sits in car three pounds sold it one sold the other day for 12.99 so I'll put this on 12.95 free shipping um, it's dead easy to list so I don't mind that I've got this new view over Atlantis book. I paid £1.49 for this. Price is a bit all over the place on this one. Um, but I'm going to list this for £24.95 free shipping. Even though there's a hardback copy listed cheaper at the minute. And I'll show you why. Uh, if I bring up my very dirty computer screen. Ignore the dirt on it. You see a world of books have got this listed. £32.99. They've sold 41 copies of it. So I've had quite a lot in. Right. They're highly priced. Now, if I look on here and click there, it's 41 sold. I can actually see their sales history and see what's been paid for it. Now, it doesn't sell very often. You know, a couple of copies a, 
a year really so not a really great selfie rate but some of the prices they've got they've got 25.99 35.99 27 pounds nine and then as low as 5.49 so it's a bit all over the place in terms of pricing so i'm going to try it at 24.95 um i think that hardback copy will sell quicker than mine but i'll try it on the 24.95 of offers um probably be sitting on it for a bit but i'm cheaper than world of books on it at the minute so hopefully someone will come along and buy my copy and the final item was this cycling jacket uh campognola campognolo no idea no clue um i paid up for this uh, I think it's the highest price item I bought today. It's £5.49. But same one as this. I sold on bids for 25 quid, including shipping. So I figured I would list this for 29 95 free shipping. It's a jacket rather than a top. Getting a bit colder for cyclists now. Uh, moving into the winter, so they may prefer a jacket. It's got a nice spell out on it. It's really nice, good, clean condition. Just a nice quality item. I think it's the best brand in the world for cycling. But... Hopefully I should be able to get £29.95 free shipping or close to that. Ultimately, I'll take any offer over £20 for it. So, happy enough with that. And there we have it. Um, I spent £34.62. pence, And the listed value of this pile here is going to be £335.30. Now, some of those things... They're quite high, some of the books uh, in value. I don't think I'll achieve those prices. But when you think they only cost me like 50p a pound, etc., it's worth putting them on. Putting them on competitively compared to other listings and see if somebody bites. Um, one of the listings really high in price. And I have achieved good results in the past doing that with books before where it you think oh, it's only worth four or five pounds. But the competition is listed at high. You come in a few quid cheaper and you end up getting a sale for a really good price. So I'm going to try it, see what happens and hopefully become rich. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, folks. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.